about fifth place in the standings at seven and seven. Obviously, you have a chance to get fourth or third before the final three weeks are over. Is that a priority for you, or you just approach it by the fact that you have to win three games in three days, regardless? Well, we we got to win Wednesday. You know, and then after Wednesday, we'll worry about Illinois State, and then the other two. And I, I you know, I believe, I believe that we're in a position that we should finish uh, no worse than fourth with what the schedule looks like. But that doesn't mean we'll do that. You know, I mean, we've we've had surprises all year long. And when you have as young a team as I have, that uh, and you make the mistakes that we make, um, you, anything can happen. So, you know, we can't look ahead like that, with, you know, like a veteran team could. If this was a veteran team, I could say, well, this, this, this. But with this team, I'm mean, just looking ahead till Monday's practice and figuring what we can do to get Petros to do some things that we need him to do and, and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we'll, we, we could finish third, we could finish fourth, we could finish fifth, we could probably finish sixth. I, I don't think we could, you know, finish any higher than that. We've got eight wins now. I think eight, if we were to lose the rest, I think eight and ten would still get us probably sixth. So. You don't want to be six, though. You, you want to be, you know, you, you don't want to play, have to play the, both Dakota teams and Wall Roberts. You know, I just don't think that's a good way to, to, to go and get a championship. Coach Ryan Bass looked like after one game off, he looked like he was ready to go today. What did you, did you like his response to uh, the one game? Yeah, very absence? much so. He, he did a great job. He handled the suspension uh, like a man. He made up, you know, in his mind, he didn't make excuses. He accepted that what he did was wrong and came back and really, really helped us win today. I don't think we would have won the game without him tonight. So it was great to see him play so well. Coach, can you talk about what was said at the end of the half with Corey Petros and uh, Kyle Sikora and the decision to put Joey Adbury in the beginning? Well, you know, again, you got freshmen and one of the things that's hurt us this year, and, and I think hurt the development of the short term, is Ilya not being here. Um, with Ilya leaving, it left us in a position that we had to play those guys. And, uh, um, <coughs> you know, when Benson and Hudson were that age and they weren't doing things, I could sit them and not play them and, and, and rotate other people in, but we, just, we don't have other people to put in there. So I, I just was not going to put Petro. Petro's did something wrong on the floor that we have been harping and harping and harping on a basic thing and we've actually in practice the last three weeks we've every day we've done a drill designed for him to stop doing what he's doing and it happened again and I'm not gonna let him fly so Kyle was tired and the reason that you know Kyle did a great job and he doesn't play 20 minutes and a half very often that was a, a lot of minutes for him and a half and when he got tired, they started taking advantage of him because he wasn't hedging that little curl they were running to Gaines and then the duck into McCorkle. And early in the game, he guarded that well and guarded McCorkle well, but as the half was ending, he, he was tired and he couldn't do it. So instead of going back with Petros because of, you know, of what I just said, I went with Joey and Joey did a really nice job. Coach Garrett Elliott, WSLU. You guys got out to a few eight, 10 point leads at one point up by 17. IPFW came back. What were you telling the guys in the huddle? Well, all year long that's been, and that's that's the sign of being a young team is not understanding that when you get it to eight, eight ten points, that you put the your foot down on the accelerator and you go. And it, you know our past teams that that eight point lead would have become twenty two point lead. Well, for for us we struggle with that. You know we seem to you know we, we get a steal and miss a layup. We miss two free throws. We you know those little things, and so we just talked and talked about that. And, and then, give them credit, they made a couple tough shots to get back in it. It wasn't, you know, we were going under the ball screen and they've pulled up and made some threes, which is what we wanted. When you have a double digit lead, you, you know, you don't want fouls, you don't want the clock stopping. So we did what we wanted to do and, and we made some big shots and big free throws, so I was very pleased. We got time for two more questions. We'll come here. Reggie talked about his emotions coming into the senior night. Talk about your emotions seeing a player like Reggie Hamilton into his last game at the arena? Well, it's always the worst night of the year for me, you know, and we've, we've said goodbye to a lot of great players at Oakland University, and we've also said goodbye to a lot of really good people. And, uh, you know, s some people that haven't had the storied career maybe that a Reggie Hamilton has, it's, it's tough when you're, you know, with each other as part of a family, part of a team like that, to see that last night. So there'll be a lot of emotions in that game. Um, you know, everybody's so 
you know, wants to know why I'm so upset about this bracket buster and stuff. Well, the big part of that is that they've taken our Saturday big crowd game and put it on a Wednesday night when we never play on Wednesday. And I don't know what kind of crowd we're going to have. And it's just not fair to Reggie. What, what, what Reggie Hamilton's done for Oakland University, and it's not fair to Lavelle, what they've done, you know, they deserve a normal senior night crowd that you, you know, I mean, the last 10 of them have been close to sellouts. And uh, so I'm, I'm disappointed in that, but it is what it is. So, you know, you just go go with it, and you, we're going to make the best of it Wednesday. But there'll be tremendous emotion Wednesday night. Final question. Uh, Frank Gaines, a guy that didn't have a huge impact in your first meeting, goes for 30 tonight. Can you talk about uh, uh, trying to contain him and, and maybe how he got loose tonight, and what, in your mind, keyed that second half run by yourself? Well, he made a lot of tough shots, all right? He made a lot of tough shots, so I wasn't concerned about that. If he was, you know, there's been some games this year where some players have some, a lot of easy shots against us, and I didn't think that happened tonight. I thought they were tough shots. Um, so you knew that eventually, you know, he's going to get have some misses, and we just got to make sure we rebound his misses. Uh, the key to our run is that we stop making little mistakes. You know, we finally got a pick. I think we got a steal. We picked it up instead of missing the layup. We made it. And then we got to stop it in the basket. And then I think Reggie, we, we, uh, they were playing the zone, and we were, we, we'd saved some things to late in the game against the zone. And we went to him, and Reggie made two threes. Uh, you know, we, we saved some sets that if we're in trouble, we want to be able to go to. If you, play, if you use those during the game, then late in the game, you can't use them because they'll have seen them and they'll adjust to them. So we saved them, and we ran them out of our dribble drive. We ran a couple quick hitters, and Reggie buried two wide open threes in that that expanded it to eight or nine points, and we got some stops, and that was the difference of executing those plays late in the game. Thank the you. other thing I thought really was the zone. You know, we went zone when it was 87, 80, and they didn't score again until, what, five seconds to go or something like that. You know, we got four straight stops in the zone. So I thought those two things were big. Thanks. Thank you, Coach. Okay. That concludes this afternoon's press conference. We look forward to seeing you on Wednesday.